Hello friends. Um, so today we are uh, going to share a few nuggets and uh, practices. Uh, what is it defined in this book called uh, Think and Grow Rich? If you haven't read this book, I would highly encourage you to read this book uh, <clears throat> written by Napoleon Hill. I think in 1937 it was written and until now um, I think around 15 million copies have been sold of this book. Okay, This is until now as well. It is considered uh, one of the um, best selling books on uh, self growth personal growth and uh, you know personal finances you know it was a very old book but until now it is one of the best books uh, why is it so way uh, so good um, and what is that what does it contain this is napoleon hill he read uh, you know he became famous with this uh, writing of this book and uh, he interviewed probably this was the first book written after interviewing 500 millionaires including andrew carnegie you know who if you do not know that time in 1930s uh, he was uh, a multi-millionaire in uh, in uh, steel industry okay and not only not only andrew carnegie himself but he also had taught the concept and he helped so many people to become a multi-millionaire that time okay and they say that andrew carnegie had he you know a i mean based on uh, his worth at you know, that time if you take into consideration the inflation right now he would be even uh, richer than uh, you know bill gates or uh, jeff bezos you know like uh, he was so wealthy that time okay so anyways uh, so what we'll discuss about is a few um, kind of a pointers okay so this book has a a lot of um, a lot of concepts is given but uh, not only the concepts which is not a theory but there are a lot of practical things what we need to do to change our thought process so that we can be wealthy you know it's an amazing book so what i'll do is uh, let me share my screen and uh, then we'll uh, show you the uh, the concepts okay um, whatever is defined or the practices what we can practice okay um so now if you see what are the steps okay what it has given very simple steps okay and now these uh, steps anyone can do to become you know successful uh, and become quite wealthy okay now <clears throat> so this uh, you know the concept is the first is uh, you know the um, decide or write down he talks about writing it down you know if you see the third step write a statement so we have to decide exactly what amount of money we want so that's this desired amount okay and not only amount of money but by when so our mind has to understand that the time limit or the date by which we want it <clears throat> and then what exactly we are going to do to get it so that means uh, you know what are we going to trade uh, you know the uh, you know the product or services what we are going to trade to get that money so that is something you know we have to define in that way and then uh, you know we have to write it down um, and uh, you know uh, stick it somewhere where we are going to see it day and night okay so that is very important to read it okay on a daily basis okay so once we do the practice of amount of money the by when we want uh, that money and by doing what we want the money and then is uh, twice to read it so that means after you write it then you have to read it second thing that means routine wise uh, you know we have to do it twice so uh, minimum twice so that means before we go to sleep and after we wake up okay that is a time when our subconscious mind is active so that means that is the mind which controls uh, you know everything you know like our breathing our heartbeat or you know entire thought process you know uh, that is the subconscious mind so if you want to feed anything into your subconscious mind that is the best time okay and uh, then uh, after we read it uh, so it's uh, reading it loud is quite important as well and then you have to see and feel and believe it okay so that means uh, you know visual uh, seeing means uh, you know uh, you have to visualize that okay and then feel that means uh, seeing that that money is already you know we have that money and then feeling okay what what will be the feeling when you have that money so that means you'll be ecstatic you know you'll be excited you'll feel accomplished you feel um, that you are successful and then you have to believe that it has already happened so that means uh, you know the believing that means when we create that emotion okay 
the stronger the emotion of uh, us having it, uh, so the better our belief is. So now your question would be that, uh, you know, how do I believe, you know, because it hasn't already achieved. So the, by reading loud, okay, and our positive affirmation or, to, you know, speaking it and the, yeah, we are listening to it. And that is the only way, as per this book, that is the only way we can develop that belief, uh, you know, within ourselves that this is a possible okay and then as a thank you uh, as, a, as a note if you have to uh, conclude that saying thank you okay so that means you are thanking the the universe or thanking your you know thanking god if you believe that thank you um god uh, or, or you know i am so thankful that i i have already accomplished that i'm so thankful okay so you are giving your gratefulness um you know even before it has already manifested so this is a uh, the sort of quick pointers of the entire book, if I if you can take away. So these are the pointers of this is what we need to practice on a daily basis so that uh, you know we can become successful um, and financially wealthy. So with that, I am done. And until next, over and out.